Happy Friday, guys. Welcome back to another Daily Dose of Hope. We're wrapping up another week with the CEO of HopeQuest, Troy Haas. How are you, my friend? I'm good. I'm good. I can't wait for baseball. Oh, it's really, you can smell it. Hot dogs. Like, and in fact, if you go to Fenway, it's not hot dogs. They do have the Fenway Frank, but it's the hot Italian sausage uh, with peppers and, and oh, onions. And onions. Oh, it's See, I, I, I would skip the peppers. Right outside the extra onions, so. Yeah, you like that? Nothing like baseball food. Hey, listen, guys, we've been talking about actually the tragic side of, of some of the things that we baseball brings to mind. And again, the ministry of, uh, of our friend Ravi Zacharias. Uh, and we wanted to wrap this week up with three practical things we can put into practice from what we've learned about all of this. And the first, actually, we're going to call it ACE. Yeah. A-C-E. Write okay. it down. I like it. They're ace. taking notes. ACE. A-C-E. Like ACE, like Justin Verlander. Is your ACE. Who is our ACE, but he just had Tommy John surgery, so he's out all year. So the A is unavailable. Yes, oh, that is correct. I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah, well. I'm sorry, that hurts. Well, you still have fun watching. Hey, listen, the A for our lessons this week says, anything this earth offers will not keep you sober. Yeah, and, and Bill, you know, the reality is I can cry out and say I need something to make my life matter, but the reality is my life's only going to matter as much as I fall in love with and trust and walk with Jesus. Mm -hmm. And if I think that something out there is going to make me whole or is going to fix what's broken or is going to fill me up and give me joy and peace, I am wrong. Only Jesus can do that. The stuff out there is the stuff I do with him as we walk together, but, mm. but, but that stuff doesn't fill me up, it doesn't complete me. Every good and perfect gift, gift comes from above. Our success, our riches really aren't the end game Jesus is. C, character is not built through our giftedness. Yeah, you know, thank God for his giftedness. Mm -hmm. And Ken Caminetti, there's no arguing that he wasn't one of the more gifted players oh, of his beast. time. Uh, multiple All-Star, National League MVP in 96, but that giftedness wasn't enough to, uh, to, to overcome the character issues that were there. Robbie as well, again, gifted, used by God. Maybe one of the top one or two names you'd name in Christianity. Yes. But, but again, when we let our giftedness drive our lives as opposed to our character drive our lives, we're going to get in trouble. Mm, boy, the big lesson. Learn that one. And finally, E, Troy, we um, talk about ending hero worship. Yeah, we got to stop it. Put your eyes on Jesus. Don't put your eyes on Andy Stanley or Simon Sinek or anyone else who's succeeding. Put your eyes on Jesus. Let him be your model. You can have mentors, but we've got to end this crazy hero worship where we elevate people to this high, high spot and then we're so surprised when they fall off that high spot that we've elevated them to. Yeah, you hear people talk all the time about having heroes and they meet them in person. Like, I'll be honest, I've got a Larry Bird signed basketball. I believe Larry Bird was the greatest basketball player of all time. He was a major part of my growing up. Mm -hmm. But uh, I hope you didn't see the state, but he's a jerk. Yeah, yeah. And he's I doubt very seriously he's going to see the state. Treated state his well. daughter like dirt. I mean, just some horrible things that broke my heart because you want these guys to yeah, be. But we've got to quit worshiping other people mm. and make sure we're worshiping Jesus. All right, guys. Anything, anything that you can find on this earth that you consider to be success won't keep you sober. Character is not built through your giftedness. Paul said, I boast in my weaknesses. Mm. That's where God meets us. And let's end hero worship. And let's kind of walk with Jesus and, and be men of God Amen. in our circles. God bless you. See you next week.